That's full battery. Full battery here. We are good to go. Chris, you keep an eye on the camera. We are good to go. Pat, Frank, we're going to give you these headphones. Oh, I felt that one. Dropping them all over the place on here, Franklin. Alright, boys. Alright, we're getting there. It's still a little bit of... Chris, we want to make sure that we got the levels good. Check everybody, check everybody. One, two, three. Can you hear me, Pat? Unfortunately, yeah, you're pretty yes. loud. Frank, are you in yet? No, you're Not still yet. playing with your stuff. Still playing with my stuff. Alright, Chris, yeah. pass out them beers, baby. Let's go, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, this is going to be the actual first reported podcast. Um... Chris, let me let me, let me those headsets real quick. Ooh, okay, I'll take the B session IPA. Let me just see how this sounds. Give me the summer ale, yes. What's up, Pat? I'll take the summer ale over there. No, this is for you. I personally picked that one out for you. Okay, let's be careful with the uh, this is the one pop in. in. Yeah, the pop in. This is the one I wanted to give you. Okay, hold on. Thank you, Pat. Chris. All right, boys. I'm gonna give Chris the headphones back so he feels good. Frank, how do you feel? Great. You're not yet. He's still not I can't in. wait for Pat to <laughs> drop that name on the uh, the podcast. That gotta happen, Chris. Okay, and let's get everything off the table because that's where it makes a lot of noise. Now I got my uh, my beers okay. and my uh, energy drink. And this is this can all be once we're ready, we can we can start. Um, this is all more or less. This could be back. Like this could just be a part of the video, and I can mute everything. So we'll figure out how we want to do it. Sounds good. Uh, Franklin, I'm waiting on you. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Go for it. Are you okay? Um, it's gonna take me a while. Yeah, is it a little difficult? I don't know how to put this on very well. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I. One fell off and it looks fucking. Oh, uh, here we yeah. go. I need this, boys. Let me tell you what. We should have got the some some headphones on the in the in the Prime Day sale. Yeah, probably. Yeah, these are pretty garbage, yeah. but that's okay. Um, good luck, Frank. Some See how it goes. Ones or something. All right, boys. Everybody sound good. Everybody sound good. Come on, Chris. Give me a crack, baby. Let's go. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready, baby. Come on. Mm. Here we go. Oh yeah, boys. Okay. Frank, you in? I think so. Okay, you can probably side that a little bit if you want. Make sure so make Franklin doesn't feel like he's... There we go. Okay, and just careful, careful. Nice, nice. We'll see how that, that video goes, but I want to make sure we're good there. Red button's on. We're good. Nobody's touching things. It's a lot more work when you actually, you know, you're trying to set up a professional podcast here, guys. Not well, as easy. Wow. Loud surfaces. Professionals yeah, are, professionals are relative yeah. term on that one. Uh, you can, yeah, turn him down. He's probably... He's two, Chris. I put him up. Yeah, he's two. No, no, volume's at the bottom, bud. Yep, he's two. No, no, no. I changed them all. He's two. I'm telling you. There you go. How's that? No, you're going out here. You want? I'm going to four. Oh, okay. Okay. How's that sound? It's it's good for me. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I sounded okay, but I no no you're you're fine, but I thought you were, I thought you were having issues with the how hard or how loud it was. Oh no no no. no I was having an issue with how loud Pat Lynch was talking. Oh, okay, so yeah, you can you you guys feel free to move whatever Pat's you want. Problem. I could have sworn Pat was three when I plugged them in. I, I changed those things a little bit. It's yeah. like the, it's like the beer tasting all over again. This Pat, kid's still Pat, too loud in my headphones. All right, can we can we talk about this, Pat? You like to get right on the mic, so you can, every time you slap your lips, <laughs> I could, I swear to God, I was about to punch you through <laughs> the podcast last week. I, through I the could, podcast, baby. Every, through the podcast. Every bite, chew. Slap. You know, you can play when I'm too close. You can play when you can't Listen, hear me. When you can I, hear I, me. I, I, let's go back to Make up your mind. Let's go back Make up your damn mind. Because, you? good Lord, the smacking. If you want to hear it yourself, I put a clip out on Instagram at Podcast S&P uh, for Twitter and for Instagram. And the YouTubes. And you can check it out. We got Sexy Pepsi, who's off mic today. How you doing, Sexy? We'll get you We'll get you in the camera on the later, baby. We'll get a part of him on the camera. Mm. That's not bad. Not great, though. So, ladies and gentlemen... We're here on another beautiful set. Well, tonight's a Friday night. Um, Chicago got we a you know crappy Friday night. Oh, it's just terrible. Very rainy. Could have been a could have been a wonderful night. Uh, could have been a wonderful day with a nice day game. We had set up and uh, it rained all day. Thanks, and, sure did. Thanks, Pepsi. Um, and you gotta love that. As soon as they called the game, stop raining. This is like it didn't, it didn't start raining. It stopped raining over here at least it, for a while. I mean, I, when I was I came home about one, it was done. But then it picked up again at three. Like for like a hot second, like then I mean, again, like it four. felt like we've been in through hard, harder rain. Yeah, but it, but I mean, but with the, the cumulative amount of rain yeah. all day is why they just want a Saturday night game. They would, they're gonna, they're they want to stick it to Tom Tunney out there. They're gonna kill it. I might like the, that. <laughs> 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 um, but so we're we're here. We got a golf. We got a nice little golf event. Um, hopefully, I mean you haven't thought, you haven't introduced our guest for the evening. Oh yet. yeah. Oh well, again, because Joe, you got the, you got you got the one. It's I not apologize. even on camera. I, you know what? You're 100 percent right. I'm that's a, a shot. That, that's a shot out the of the bucket. Hey, listen, right. we could do we could do a shot tonight. Um, 
But yes, thank you, Franklin, for show, for oh, showing yeah. up today. Once pick it up, picking up the slack of our uh, favorite co-host Joe, who's been he, uh, he's been out. He's like the Cubs. He's been out or a, a loser for three of the last four <laughs> weeks. There you go. And the Cubs are seven of ten last night. Oh right my now. god, they've lost seven out of ten. The, well, the, in their defense, the, the Baltimore Royals are on like a ten game win streak. Now. You know what? That's kind of funny. I didn't. I just thinking about it before you even said that. I thought they're so. like they're like a five hundred team. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, they're you know who, who the Orioles? Yeah, there's yeah. there's they're, they're, they're everybody in the division is better. Oh, than I know, them. I know that, but I did not know that <laughs> they were. They were they, when, on Wednesday night, I was talking to my dad. I'm like, what do you think the record is? He's like, they're around 500. I'm like, no chance. I open up, they're 44 and 44. Oh wow, or some of that. Or some of that. They're, they're like, in the wild card. Do you, I mean, obviously, the Mariners weren't on a 10 game winning streak. That's the first time in like 20 years, I think. I was watching the, the 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 Orioles don't have a bad. They, they don't have a bad team actually. They're not they're not they're not great, but they're not bad. I didn't watch it. Didn't. The the third baseman they got. It'd be a lot if I said baseman, I watched any of. I've not watched any Cubs games. Their third baseman has a hell of a glove. They're, they're, he made he made two or three good plays on on Wednesday. How late did you guys stay on Wednesday for the game? It ended at ten, right around ten. Oh, did it? Because I, I could have sworn. Well, Brian, I guess that's maybe, not too bad. Maybe yeah. that's maybe Brian Snap just got out late. But yeah, but then. we. I mean, we left. Uh, we left. Uh, we left when the when they went from four to one to seven to one. We were we waited that half inning and then we left in the the top of the. After the top of the ninth, yeah. when they get became one runs, my bad. boy, my boy Danny Norris walked in. I'm like, I've never, I told Brian, I've never seen this guy give up less than, than four runs, and he gave up. He only gave up three like that. La, the other night, including a balk oh. that he walked in a guy. What a balk! Oh, nice. A balk. That's a rarity a balk, right there. Yeah. So I seen oh, I did see that. He fell off the mound. He's such Faces a loaded. That guy's <laughs> such, <laughs> a, <laughs> such a shitty pitcher. I mean, that's that's the Cubs. That's in a, fantastic. Yeah, right that's there. the Cubs in a in a heartbeat. It right is. He's possibly the one of the worst really I've ever seen on the Cubs team. Nice, nice. Well, I mean, the team is just garbage. But then you got to give them a little. But they bit keep of a bringing break. him in. Why? Would you got? Any, who else do you got? I don't know. Somebody that gives a less than four runs per outing would be nice. <laughs> That'd be somebody. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you can find Carl Edwards Jr. somewhere on the on the free agent heat. They brought they brought him they brought him back from the injury list, and then he still sucks. Do you know who they uh, or the MLB draft is this weekend? Yeah. That I have zero idea. I the Cubs, I the, I think the Cubs pick a second, right? I, yeah, no, I mean, picking like seven. Think about it. The uh-huh. NBA draft is something special. The NFL draft yeah, is huge. Very big. MLB draft, no one knows nothing about hockey. Know, you yeah, you don't know anything about <laughs> hockey or MLB, but yeah. MLB is also – Well, hockey sometimes if you got to – because yeah. I feel like an NHL player could come in that year and change things up. You can't – yeah, but you – MLB ne- is never going to happen. But you would like never hear about a – what you would never hear about like a hockey player until he made his debut during the season. Like that's when you'd hear about it. You don't hear about it during like the draft. Like – I, MLB's got the issue where like they have like forty rounds of like drafting. Yeah, and it's just like forget that. So baseball, they have a ton of rounds. Oh, the yeah, that's what, MLB, they have so many yeah. different yeah. minors. Yeah, it just it gets really. Con- I don't Which even is crazy that the NBA has works. two rounds. How many minor leaguers does that's, that's the, just like how garbage? How many minor league like teams does a hockey player? Yeah. It's garbage. Teams are just one. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. One. Yeah, but the NBA has a smaller rosters than everybody else. Where they have ten to fifteen. Yeah, they have fifteen, and then but now they have twenty six. You but they do have all because of all the bullpen and all that. But they yeah. do have, uh, have minor like league eight pitchers. <laughs> yeah, they, they do have minor league teams that. in the NBA now. So sure. what's up? They do have minor league teams in the NBA now. So I mean, like well, two no, rounds they have with the just the that, G League. Oh yeah, the G League. Yeah, yeah. I the did, Bulls yeah. have a minor league team. All these. Yeah, a lot of them. Have yeah, but league. you can go. You know, I guess if you, I'm, sure, I'm sure if you draft somebody, you got to pay them. So like, they're probably all these free agent guys that they can probably get for cheaper. True. They got the big three league to go into. They're good. No, is that still a thing? I yeah. know Ice Cube. Yeah, what's there. it called? Someone just put a bunch of money into it to keep it afloat. Oh yeah, oh really? Wow. Who is, who is the guy? Ice Cube was definitely running that. That was like cool for like a hot second. Yeah, no, but the, somebody, somebody just I just saw an article. Three, someone put three, money into it. What do they call that, Chris? The, the big three? three. The big three, where it would be like Allen Iverson played like one game, but he was so out of shape that he couldn't. He could barely make it up down the court, and they don't have like a full. It's like yeah, it's like a half court game. And they got like spots like on the court where you can shoot four pointers. That's hilarious. Um, Colin Kaepernick, that's who it was. <coughs> was what? He, inv- he invested in the big three. Did he? Oh, did he really? Yep. He got a lot of money, a lot of guaranteed money. Yeah, um, and he made a lot from Nike. So yes, well, he's not doing so bad. He, didn't he I'm have sure like a, didn't he have like a throwing thing session with somebody recently or something? Yeah, he had to work out with the yeah, Raiders. Yeah. Warren Sapp said it was the it was just garbage. And but then his Warren Sapp's <laughs> or then um, Ka- Kaepernick's. How would Warren agent, Sapp know? That's it, it, his agent came out. I was like, how would Warren know? Like who? Who even talks to Warren? I mean, if, it was like, if it was like Derek Carr said, yeah, he looked like shit. Then I, I actually it. love listening to him. But Warren Sapp was, I, I forget what the name of the podcast is. And this podcast is not, like it's a very popular podcast. Um, and he was on it. And he had some really good clips from like back in the day. Do you remember how he got mm-hmm. booted from ESPN? Yeah, of course. He, he, he hired two uh, prostitutes, like uh, sex workers. And he, they tried to rob him. And he said that, or and then it somehow came down to, 
he got aggressive with them. And he called the cops because they, yes. they, they were trying to extort him. Yeah, they, yes, exactly. Oh, no, no, yeah, oh something God. like that. But then, so then they supposedly had some injuries, but I think it all came out to, like, he just got, he got in trouble for um, <clears throat> hiring sex workers, and then that's it. But then ESPN's like, we can't have that on our Disney platform. They were platform. just looking to fire everybody that can. Oh, that's anybody who's really making any money? Right yeah. There, yeah. Oh, 100%, because yeah. they can't. They, they fired everybody. Exactly. For who no, did they even just no get, reason. Who did they just get rid of? They got rid of a long time. Kenny, or no. Crap, I'm trying to think. He was, oh, I can't even think of who it was, but he was a guy who was long-term, long-time ESPN, like, insider, was one of the guys who would always get, like, trades and stuff. I forget who it was. But I was so surprised that they let him go. I was like, man, who are these? I mean, ESPN has, I just got to get young talent. They got to get, up. they need to be more diverse. I don't know if that's. They get a lot of old players now. Like you got Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark's on ESPN in the morning. Who? Um, Yeah. The former safety for the. Yeah. Who? Steelers. Who? Who? I was watching a little bit of old school um, announcing, (laughs) and they 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 had like they were trying it out, and you could just tell it was not good. Um, Oh yeah, or what's his face? But from the HBO thing, Pat Riley was trying to be a, a TV announcer. And you could tell, like, nowadays, like, if you want to be an NFL an analyst and you're a quarterback, you just walk right in. Pat Riley? And Pat Riley. Before, he was an announcer for a while. I remember Pat him. Pat Riley is a yeah. – well, No, no, no. The, but, co- the guy from the Pete? Yeah, he was he – was, Yeah. He was this – I think he was an analyst that talked like an NBA analyst. But he was for, a terrible – he was not a good For the NBA Lakers player. before he became, like, yeah. a coach. Yeah, Drew Brees is terrible, too. I mean, oh. listen to Drew Brees in, like, Notre Dame broadcast. He was pretty terrible. I've never – I didn't listen to him. Yeah. He was, uh, it was pretty bad. Tony Romo, though. They Rome. love Tony Romo's not Romo. bad. I like Tony Romo. I love Peyton. You know what would be he's awesome great. if you could have Peyton Manning, Eli Manning. I would say <laughs> Peyton would be good, but he's not. He's, he's not. No, he's, no, he's, he's, he's going to run a team somewhere. That's yeah, a lot that's of what work. he wants to do. Yeah, that's he a might, lot of work, he's probably, probably, probably be part of the Broncos. It probably, is. Yeah. Whoever buys the Broncos will probably be part of that organizational group. I'm guessing the, the ownership group because the Broncos well, are for sale right now. I think. Wait, no, I think. No, they sold the. Yeah, the Broncos got sold. They sold the to the other Taylor Walmart guy, right? Yeah, the Walmart guy. Yep. The other one, because the other Walmart, everything, all the heirs of the Walmarts all have billions of dollars, and they're buying sports teams. Because the one yeah. bought the the Rams. Oh, did he really? Yeah, so the, the, the that Kroenke guy is, is off the, is, was married to one of the Walmart daughters, I think, or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Um, wow, that's crazy. Think about that. The the, the Walmart family, um, how much money do they have? They just have to have insane amounts of money. Like where Warren Buffett has insane amount of money, but his kids are not getting any of it. Like, damn it, Dad. Yeah, well, I... Get you buy me an NFL team before you I die. Think, I think they, all they did was give... I think he supposedly gave them an education. That was kind well, of I, thought, yeah, I think he gave them like a, like a small amount, I think, is what it was. I thought I read, but who knows? Bill Gates said the same thing just recently. It's yeah. Like, I want to All of his are going to the unmarried list. mothers yeah. of Costa Rica. Well, whatever. Nice. Yeah. Nice. He's giving it away, not to his kids. <laughs> well, he's. I, they're finding out Bill Gates is not, not absolutely not a saint. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, whoever thought he was. I mean, right? he, you, oh. to build a business like that, he, he's, he can't yeah. be a saint. I guess. None of them are. Yeah, but I mean, you know, we, he gave. He, I mean, let's be honest. Up until more recently, everybody just thought he was a nerd. Yeah. He had like a, like a normal house, didn't really spend anything. And it's coming out that no, he this dude was like a pretty creepy individual. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, it happens. They're all creepy. It happens. Fat. It happens. <laughs> Come on. It Even happens. Uh, Elon Musk just had another twin set of twins when he was well, at his kid. Like, did you hear his reasoning? It's, what did you hear his he's reasoning? Trying to, he's no, trying to birth, I, they, you raise that birth rate. Yeah, I try yeah. to stop. Yes, he's, as trying, much as I can he's trying to populate the, the the world. He thinks that our our population rate is. He's spreading a seed. He wants to be like that guy. He wants to be Vince Vaughn from a movie and just have a bunch of babies. He he's literally gone off the rails in the past. <laughs> oh, he's out two or three years. He's I used to enjoy the famous, like, his famous when they were doing that SpaceX stuff. I yeah. enjoyed it as a science teacher, but like he he was pretty cool. A lot of stuff he's saying. And now he just went full crazy. It's like I can't listen to him anymore. He <laughs> is no, but he it's is just straight diarrhea out of his mouth. Like it's stupid. It. Uh, I think he's. I think honestly, I think the fame is getting to him a little bit. I think that he's. Yeah. They, th- um, they think he's in the spectrum, right? Oh, he's definitely. He is, but he like, it doesn't. Is. It doesn't yeah. matter in the sense of like. Well, but I, it does kind of look. Well, it makes you awkward and socially. Yeah. Well, not. It, it you're makes, also maybe you're not aware of what of, of what you're. You know how you are exactly how you're portrayed or, yeah. or how <laughs> your actions provide a reaction. You just don't. You don't catch that. A lot, I mean, they think a lot of the. Um, well, there's there's just so much more autism like diagnosis now but that's probably because they're just knowing more of it it's all the vaccines but, man yeah I don't know. <laughs> but you guys. you're gonna get his flag for that one uh, so, uh, how, do you, uh, this, how do i uh, mute YouTube him video. for like two minutes yeah, yeah. you give him i'm flagging it <laughs> <information. laughs> it's this gonna start to be like pardon the interruption when you say yeah, something stupid, stupid yeah. i'm just gonna mute, mute yeah. you for 10 seconds oh, that used to be my favorite when that was we were great that was a great show yeah. Yeah. yes after like during college still yeah college yeah you know i know yeah but now it's not as good 
I've um, watched who was the years. original host of that? Because it was they had the guy with the black hair. Tony Reale. He's but, was, but there was a guy before that. I like Max, I think Max Kellerman was yeah, the original. For the, for the original yeah. guy, right? Yeah, yeah. For like a hot minute, yeah. And then he went to He's hot on. take with whatever his mm-hmm. face is, right? No? No, he was on ESPN, and then he left. I think he went to <laughs> HBO or Fox Sports or something, and then he then they got him back. Him and Stephen A. Smith had worked together for a minute, right? Yeah, but then Stephen A. Smith doesn't like him anymore, so he booted him from his show. Because he, he, the guy is smarter than Stephen A. Smith, is that why? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Make, make Stephen A. Smith look bad with his dumb Dude, hot takes. Talking about sports, did you guys see um, – uh, that the quarterback for the Jets, Zach Wilson, Ooh. just yeah. broke up with his girlfriend. No, his girlfriend. Uh, his or girlfriend, no, his girlfriend broke up with him. him. Do you know why, Chris? Because he was on Tinder. No, no, I can tell you why, Chris, if you like. Frank, do you I know why? I have heard now. You have not I'm heard excited this? excited about this. Really? Yeah. Nobody's heard the story? <laughs> no, I didn't catch this. Because he, uh, he was slamming his mom's best friend. <laughs> So he was having relations. If you remember, his mom was like the really hot, like the big deal about the draft thing with him is his oh, mom yeah, was like yeah, super yeah. hot. Not no, his, I don't remember not his mom. No, his mom is hot. I know, but his girlfriend's I mom's I, I, I best friend. His girlfriend. No, no, he was mom's. no. It was yeah. his mom's best friend. No, his girlfriend's it, look mom's, it up, it's his best, mom's friend. best friend. It's, it's not from the table, by the way. It's, it's his, his girlfriend's mom's best friend. Also, that's what is what it is. He was banging a cougar at the end of the day. We get that. Whatever. He was having a good time. Yes. The best part of that whole story is not that Now I got to look this up for myself. You know what the best part of that story is, Frank? Go for it. He's been taking some time off of of, uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter, and his most recent post was, hey, been gone for a while. What'd I miss? (laughs) Yeah, his mom's best friend. Yeah, that's why I said his mom's friend. He's not, his mom is not his girlfriend's mom's friend. No, his girlfriend's mom's best friend. No, his mom's friend. His girlfriend's mom's best friend. <laughs> Dave Collins. Oh boy. Um, but I. He's is that got, her? Is that his? Boyfriend? That's his girlfriend. That's the. I mean, that's the biggest shock. What Let is he see. doing? I, I, that kid I is ugly. Say maybe he just likes the old. He likes the older ladies, like, right? Hold on. What's up? He likes the older ladies to show him a few. few I few remember the draft. Is that though? the fr- mom's friend? No, that's his mom, they don't show his mom's best friend. They don't. They don't know who it is. That's the mom. They, That's the I've seen them like I remember watching the draft and everyone was like hot for the mom. He is, I a, that. He is an ugly looking kid. He's, he's somebody's taste with a lot of money. He's not Chris McGraw's taste. Yeah, of it. That's no, his, that's his girlfriend, I mean, ex girlfriend. Yeah, not doing so bad. No, could have. But again, you're a quarterback of the but New I mean, York Jets. You're going to be fine. When you're third overall draft, you should pick. every yeah. every athlete should take the page out of Derek Jeter's book and and uh, into your career is over. You know that Derek Jeter just addressed that this week. He said that was fake. What was fake? The the gift bags. Whoever nah, said he about the gift bags. He, he's, We're he's talking about he it. was he never settled down, so he never got any issues. There was never any controversy because he was never in a relationship, so no one could get it mad and at he's him. He's giving them gift bags away too. It was definitely was giving gift bags. Oh yeah, women were saying that he was ma- he's he, he was definitely having him sign confidentiality agreements. Yes. He's gonna take their yeah. ass to court. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You know who's the There's only nothing guy? Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no. Yes, it's, if it's consensual, it's for both sides. Yeah. How is there an issue? Again, but he's not in a relationship. So they can't so he's extort not, him yes. and all that, and yeah. you know, blackmail and all that. Like, of course, that's like the smartest. Way thing to go, you Derek do. Jeter. You're the man. Um, exactly. You know, you want to be stupid and not and get sued or whatever. Like, exactly. You know, sign. You gotta sign the papers, girl. Sign the papers. <laughs> you want to come back? You want to see the man? You want, you want, you want a little bit of there too? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta the, sign the papers. You want to get the four rings, baby? Yeah. You want to see the four rings? You gotta sign that paper. Come on, that's you smart. see this gift basket over here? You ain't going <laughs> yes, home with no. it unless you sign that. It's got Gucci yeah. handbag in it, ladies. <laughs> that's like as smart as it come. Because how many people? I mean, all these allegations of these guys, oh. and you know, and again, some of these guys, I'm sure, do it. I'm not saying these girls are liars. I'm just saying like. You got to be show. very safe. Yeah. Like, looking at especially Vin, as a your boy Vinnie Mac, man. He's an Darn. he's the embodiment of that Dave Chappelle skit where you do like the love contract before you have, yeah. uh, have sex yeah. with a girl. A hundred percent. They were talking. They, I won't they, say anything. I know you won't. <laughs> look, <laughs> your I mean, look at Tiger Woods. Like, do we say any more? He should have been signing yes. those all day. But he also should have been in a marriage. Been, yeah, he, well, even, even, even the ones, he, but, but the ones that did sign NDAs broke up down the road, anyways. Looks like. But the reason he was doing that is because he wanted to be. That he wanted to have this image, this, this yeah, fit, wholesome. This wholesome look, you're yeah. not wholesome, buddy. No, no. You want to be? Did you, you uh, yes. did you see the uh, last tournament? This, this uh, some some girl they caught him. Some girl handing him a paper, and some oh, were yeah? like, "Oh, he's handing phone numbers." And like, it literally, it's this like blonde girl in the stands, and just like, oh, well, he's divorced has, now. Like this, and just like they do one of these, and it's like, "Oh, I see Tiger." He's single. Did you see Tiger today? Yeah. 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 He eighteen, yeah, incredible. He's, he's, he's yeah, crying. Do you think he not was not gonna he's not gonna come back to the spot? Well, they, 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 just, they don't have just, they, or do you just have such a bad day? He had to never be the same. He's just they, physically. Well, I mean, yeah. also that they're they're not, they, they don't play San Andrews yeah. that often, so he might change. be in like fifty something by the time they go back. Yeah, there. they changed that. No, that's I'm not saying. I'm just asking. I couldn't understand why he's crying. Because if it was me, I'd cry if I had that bad of a day. But that's every day for me. I mean, they they that's where they invented golf, I believe. Yeah, I heard it's a shit course. But yeah, so like it, like they it's rotate. A, well, it's a hard the, course to play. It's a links course. 
They, ro- they rotate the all those major courses except for course. the Masters. Yeah. The Masters always stays at Augusta. All the other ones yeah. rotate every year. You know, I, so I was listening to a little bit of the sport when I was driving home. They, I was listening to a little bit of ESPN. And one of the guys was on talking about um, this golf course. And like, what, it's funny because like ESPN was talking about how garbage the golf course was. And then the 670 score was talking about how beautiful the course is. And the one guy that was talking about how beautiful it was, he's like, he's like, I feel like this should always be this open. Like, this place is perfect for it. And he's like, yeah, like, like I think New Orleans should be the host of the Super Bowl every year. And I'm like, all right, your opinion is done, buddy. <laughs> New Orleans sucks. It's, and I'm sorry if you're from New Orleans. It's an absolute shithole now. You guys need to get renovated. It is ridiculous. Uh, but, the stadium was okay. No, no, I, I, I still was not. Eh. I mean, the bathrooms in, in, on Beale, on those, with Bourbon Street, those need to be renovated. I, the whole bar start, scene let's, let's, in, let's, in Bourbon. Let's get, is, a, uh, yeah. let's, get a, let's get a fund for that going. We need to get Rosemont in there and clean up all that up. <laughs> <laughs> get the Rosemont mayor down there. You come in and clean this whole thing up. Let's get this, you know, get some nicer things I think down the, I think New Orleans is like one of the cities more corrupt than like Chicago even. 100%. Their police department, it, it's, yeah, you do not want to get in trouble in New Orleans. Or you're in some... Trouble. Oh, interesting. That's uh, you never heard of all that stuff with like uh, Hurricane Katrina. No, like, yeah, the mayor, the mayor that was there was the jail for like ten years. Oh, nice. The that, oh yeah, lots of that Katrina money. Bye bye. You're not gonna see that again. It's like all the money going to Ukraine. Who knows? There's um, you know, I don't usually agree with a lot of what our politicians are doing, but there's some politicians who are like, all right, if we're gonna keep giving Ukraine money, can we at least be able to track where the money's going? Like they want to have like invoice or like be able to see where exactly each dollar's going. And I'm like, why aren't we doing that anyways? Like, how is that not a thing? No, no it's, like, it's like money, please. Because you got to hire people to overlook and do all that. So unless you're hiring all these people and paying them, I've, too, I, I, got, I got a perfect job for Christmas, girl. Yeah, they're hiring you guys. That's what I'm saying. But you don't think uh, there's there's no, like we don't have somebody who's maybe not doing as much, can be, or like an accountant there. That I, I, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing they're giving. I, I don't giving, know. I'm guessing they're giving you money. Give me some invoices, and then I'll, I'll pay. I'm this guessing out. they're giving money to somewhere on their government, and they're assuming that that government is spending it correctly. Yeah, I mean, it's but like, I mean, they, what would you do though? Like, they, they you could have to like hire billion. fleets of people to go at every stage of that process to make sure that money's being like spent on these specific things. Like, think about that. I don't know if you've realized Ukraine, the, the wait times zone. on the IRS telephone yeah. lines, but like, yeah, you can't. There's like, gotta be something we can do. That. You, Not just give. But that's the but thing. You gotta say you're gonna. All right, but all right, all right, what, fair what, what are you gonna do? You're gonna be in the war zone. Are you spending it on that? Like, no, no, but okay. But, do we buy that tank or that tank? Yeah. Which tank do we? Yeah, right, that's not. I, I, gonna I, be we're gonna walk through the inventory. Give me an invoice. I don't think. Track me the invoice. Give me a. Give me a. Give me a barcode number. Give me something. Or if we're sending things over. But I mean, it's like we, we sent, we literally packaged like, what was it, like a billion dollars and sent it over to Iraq and we have no idea where that went. Oh, yeah. But they that's went, insane. It went into uh, Halliburton and all those other yes. companies. That's yeah, where no, it went Dick too. Cheney yeah. came in. Dick, Dick Cheney's, Cheney's like, thank you very much. Dick, Dick Cheney flew back Dick, Dick Cheney has actually a robotic body. I don't know if you know that now, thanks to, thanks to the Iraq war. He's like, yeah, the future army's just the hat. He's just yeah, sitting He's basically, you know, know, he doesn't have to worry about heart attacks. Oh, he's he still alive is ridiculous. How old is Dick Cheney? He's got to be like, no, he's alive. He's got to be like, he's mid 70s. Are you sure? He's had like six heart attacks. I think, he's on number, I think he's on heart number seven. I swear I, I thought he died. No, he's not no, dead. He's Dick, not dead. Donald Rumsfeld died. Yes. Dick Cheney is only 81 years old. Only and he's 81, still baby. Oh, there you go, man, Tricky I'm Dick, wrong. baby. The his, real Tricky Dick. His birthday is the day after mine. Wow. January 30th. All right, Chris, hit me with another beer, Bubba. Which one what do you we want? So, ladies and, gen- ladies and gentlemen. Surprise me. Uh, tonight, we're doing the well, one of our favorites, Samuel Adams. We're doing the summer pack, as Chris just goes right through my mic. Yeah, I had some other beers to try, too. Okay, we'll get there. Well, we weren't sure, and we, we didn't want to be um, we didn't want to come up empty handed, Pat. Oh, thank you. I am drinking our bottle opener, the Tropical Wheat Al, which yeah, is okay. Moved him. It's Peter uh, had keys somewhere with the bottle opener on him. Yeah, that was me. There we go. It's summer. It, summer is brief, so savor every moment in the sun with the Easy Drink Wheat Al, with tropical burst of mango and guava and bright citrus aroma. Each sip of the brew is as refreshing as a two week vacation. Oh wow. my god! What's that? That's the tropical weed out. No, no. What's a two-week vacation? Oh yeah. Well, talk to Joe. He might know. <laughs> what does that mean? Hey, wait, wait. We got guys. Frank, we got a guy. Frank, what's it like to have off? more than uh, you know a day or two off at a time? What do you mean? What's it like? It's it's wonderful. Yeah, it's beautiful. What did you? That's you know, like a unicorn in the can, 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 can I hear what Franklin did today, please? Do you really want to hear what I did today? Yes, yes. I'd like to know. Woke what up you about did today. twelve. No, he's got a kid. He's got no, a kid. I have a baby. Yeah, yes, he's up early. I have a child. Well, I actually did. I stayed up late playing video games. Oh my god, that's, that's exciting. I've played a video game in like five years. What is late? Uh, I was up till about one thirty. <laughs> well, I, I wake I up. I see one thirty on, on Saturday nights. That's Let it. Let me weekday? explain. And then my child wakes up two times in the middle of the night. On top of that, and then I wake up at. 6 are you like? Are you like? Are you like? Damn it! Go to bed. I'm in the middle of this game here. 
No, no, just she handled that. But so you're you're already up, but you made Jess go handle it. She was she took her twice, and then I took her twice. That's four. That's times. called That's teamwork, dog. Times. Yes, she came. She got up up. four times in the night. Yes. Yes. You need, what is kid, wrong you, need with this, you need to give this kid some of that night call stuff that doesn't have the cough syrup part. No. <laughs> then I wake up at 6 a.m. and I start my day. So, yeah. Then yeah, nobody just, was faulting wait, you so you're for waking up at 6 a.m. sleep? What? You're like on two hours of sleep pretty much, it sounds like. Like, four like hours. all the time, my, my whole life, yeah. <laughs> no wonder you're so bald. How is this? <laughs> well, Chris sleeps so like this. <laughs> uh, just bad genetics. Bad genetics, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to like do anything after the kid goes to sleep, you got to stay up and not sleep. Either you don't sleep or you sleep. So. If you want to have I was a watching this, fun, I was watching this, uh, games, this cop show the other day, and this uh, that sounds the cop, the cop was like, it made my hair stand up, and then he's like, oh, maybe he's bald guy. He's like, oh, not my hair, my head, but you know, the arms <laughs> at least. <laughs> what was that on? It was on some like it was like some oh, random yeah. crime show. I think it was like a daylight, old daylight episode. The guys like they like, they pulled this guy over, and he's like, and he, he like he caught this guy, but the the, 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 the that commentary that he had was funny. He's like, he's like, well, made my hair stand up in the back of my neck, you know, like we get a sixth sense. He's like, well, maybe not the hair, my head, but you know, like the arms and stuff. <laughs> I'm watching this this uh, court trial of. Um this guy from Atlanta who uh, left his kid in the car, um, and unfortunately the kid passed away. And what I keep, what I keep feeling from the the court is that it's so lighthearted, and like they make jo- like the lawyer, like the defense lawyer makes jokes and stuff, and there's a lot of laughing. And in my head, I'm thinking like, I know that you want to like break up like the serious monotony of this whole thing, but at the same time, like some jokes are like, maybe we should. I mean, this is a poor child, like like overheated. In a car, like maybe we shouldn't make as many jokes. There was one that happened recently about no. that, like I think it was in Virginia or somewhere. Just but, recently, yeah. And the guy, yes. the guy, the guy forgot his kid in there, and then he yes. went and killed himself after. And we found him. He discovered his kid. He shot There's himself. Like ten kids a year die or something. It's well, this one they're not. I, this, it's it's a tough one. This is like yeah. I mean, there's a few things that like it indicate that he did it on purpose. Like he just wanted a new life. But may, I don't. I, it's just a hard thing. But uh, he went to jail for for life. But the weird part of it, he's just getting a retrial. Because in, during the court, they showed – because one of the things they were saying is he wanted a new life because he was hitting up all these women on this thing called Whisper. And they so they had one uh, – unfortunately, they had one woman come in who was sexting him. And oh, yeah. Sh- here we go. And they showed his um, his unit uh, oh, oh, oh. to the jury. Carlos like, Danger over yeah. here. What is Whisper? Uh, I don't know what it is really. I think Franklin. It's, it's, why would I? Know? Chris. Chris. <laughs> I don't think. No, I don't think I it's don't a dating. I think it's just like a thing where like you show people your can like talk. Or? Like you just throw out like a meme, and if Google you like it. the meme, I'm you can talk to Google. You can talk to that person Frank. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, we know you know. Frank's still still know worried I was. <laughs> Wait, Tell okay, us about so the horrified look on Frank's face. I don't want to know. Um, so you got up at six. What, what, what was the next step after six a.m.? Well, my daughter is potty training right now, so it's a lot of. Uh, do you have to go pee in the potty? And a lot of that, where you're basically no. have a almost naked two year old walking around and oh my god, basically awful. peeing That's anywhere in the potty. All right, okay. no, no, Can she, we get the whisper update, I don't want to hear that one yeah. anymore. I can give you done. Okay. I can give you the whisper update if you guys yeah. would like. Feel me. And it's a form of anonymous social media allowing users to post and share photo, yeah. video messages anonymous. Not so, so, so basically, Sean although this claim has like been almost challenged, like Snapchat right? almost then. Yeah, although ahead, Chris, this claim sorry. has been challenged and with privacy concerns over Whisper's handling of user data. Oh, so you know TikTok's one of those ones. So, it's, so it's like Snapchat, but they, but they, but they, they, they secretly store your picture somewhere. That you well, have Snapchat, to, I think it's I think that like Snapchat Craigslist. Remember too. Craigslist used to do that, where you can have like the personals or whatever. Yeah, the like man seeking man or man seeking yeah, woman. And then they got rid of that because well, yeah, because yeah, someone Trump, someone was killing okay. people with that. Yeah, I'm just gonna Trump shut made the tape it, here real quick. Trump, guys, keep Trump yeah. made it illegal to uh, to prostitute on Funny story. I was when I was in college. Yeah, the guy probably used prostitutes. That seems that seems like a poor choice. And the bio class lady, the teacher, she wanted us to. We were talking about like sexuality and stuff or, not, or like sexual for animals that was like an animal thing and so she had us like look at craigslist and it was supposed to be like like how like picking up methods or something but it ended up just being like all we found was a bunch of like sexual <laughs> things and like she was like horrified she was just like trying to like mate it was like mating mating things and she was trying to make it sci- some science out of it but it just ended up being a whole like, bunch of just dick whole, pics coming exactly, up on the big screen oh, just God. a bunch of horribly sexual things are all like what do you want us to do with this <laughs> like, all like 20 years old like Did why you, are we looking at this <laughs> that's crazy that's that so funny. funny she all uh, you it, know it, it was crazy nowadays <laughs> though if she would have done that one student would have told oh, yeah. she'd have been fired oh yeah in a heartbeat yeah dude when we were in when we were like just learning about like um computers and stuff our teacher told <laughs> our teacher our teacher told us to go to whitehouse.com. And I don't know if you guys know what whitehouse.com is. Right. 
Do not. It's a porn site. Yeah. And um, so every 30 eight, seventh graders in the class have porn on their computers. And she's like, oh my God. <clears throat> Goes and clicks every single like monitor screen off. She's like, turn your back screens off, turn your screens off. And she's like, everybody get up. And she walks us all out of the, out of the classroom. And then, yeah. Dave and I were looking at a, a tax client <clears throat> who will not be named. Uh, his credit card charges the other day, and uh, we were like, "What is this website?" So we Googled it. And it's Stephanie, where you buy sex toys? <laughs> oh, okay. There was a there was yeah, another. That, that, that's I'm a not, personal expense, Dave. Yeah, I, I'm not the biggest fan of people giving you credit card state or like their oh, bank statements no. or credit card statements. No, bunch of that's like, funny. especially if you have younger clients, it's all about like paying for like extras on Tinder and, and weird stuff. It's like, yeah, yeah. you think oh, you like that's where you talk about like, hey, there's a should be a separation card for that you just only business. Yeah, and what for a person? Oh, well, if people were smart, I, I honestly like when I when I help with business, new businesses. That's first I tell them right away. Yeah. You have to have a new business. You have to have a business checking account and a business credit card because if the IRS ever comes looking at you and they want your, you give them your bank statements, your credit card statements. Go ahead. I Take mean, that's what card. I use the DLM credit card for. Yeah, all my personal porno oh, pur- <laughs> purchases. <laughs> All, All that crazy fetish yeah. stuff. You yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> nobody gets Hot to see, friends, moms. Nobody gets to see my credit card. I book it myself, you know, and, and I just put it as office expense. Chris, why is everything going against my capital account for this credit card? <laughs> also, Chris, uh, don't don't tell the world that. You probably shouldn't throw that one out there. Uh, I'm going to throw oh, it out gonna, there for everybody to know. We're going to have to erase that part. I, I just want people to know that they can contact me at the uh, S&P <laughs> podcast at gmail.com, <laughs> and I will d- gladly buy them whatever weird <laughs> fetish porn they want. Don't do that. You'll get some weird emails, buddy. <laughs> Uh, you're going to get them because I don't know how to access that email. <laughs> Chris, uh, look out for an email from me right now. Just like, <laughs> um, no, darn it. I had something I wanted to bring into the, the – you guys, you guys you just ruined it for me. Sorry. Right. Um, we try. We try. Yeah. The SD card said – I think it started with 24 minutes or 24 – 24 hours it looked like it was starting, and it's I think at 30 minutes on the SD card. So we're gonna. This is all. <clears throat> wow, trial. that's a real. Uh, that that that's a real jump from 24 <laughs> hours to 30 minutes. Like, how did this? What what happened? Yeah. Um. So maybe it's, we, it's taking maybe a lot of my big maybe, dome. Maybe we should have uh, stepped up and got the 512 gigabyte, not the 256. Yeah, we little shouldn't have went cheap on this one. Free, or you just turn your resolution down. You get a little more out of it too. If it's 4K. These things, yeah, it is 4K. Yeah. You, want, you want to see the gray hairs and peas like curtain 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 curtain. No, You don't want to see you the bags Frank, under my eyes. That's a lot of stuff i got to learn, right? Yeah. You're Just making this so much harder for me. You'll okay? get a lot more uh, space out of it. Um, let's go. Oh, let's go into last week. How's everybody feeling? Every, everybody's feeling better. How was – here we go. We'll go around the table. Mine is Frank. How was your Saturday? How'd you feel Saturday? Saturday, Saturday fine. Yeah. Was it Saturday we ate the wings? How yeah. was, how oh, was yeah. after the wings? Oh, yeah. It was, yeah, it felt great. It was yeah, I, I, I'm literally thinking like drinking wise. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, I thought uh, we were Sunday. <laughs> wait, we're so, oh yeah, you hung over. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, considering we didn't get home until like four, four in the morning. morning. What is our? What is it? We have a real problem, Frank. Recently, yeah, we do. You know how like you like to? We stay out one late. We get all our late nights in one night. You yeah. like to spread it out all over week, especially. Well, you don't have really any responsibilities besides your kid. Most of the week. Besides my kid. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Don't worry about that. Let her know. <laughs> no, don't worry about Pardon that. Me. She can walk. She can practically take care of herself. Now. Yeah. yeah. She's fine. Um, but we like to... I I literally had... We I knew was, we had a uh, one thirty two thirty vibe all game, and we stayed out until 4 in the morning. We could not get... Well, we were planning on going home early. That first game, I was so miserable. Oh, yeah? I felt so shitty. Oh, afterwards, it was... Yeah. That was a hell of a fight to, to win that game, too. I drank like a, I drank like a whole Gatorade, and I still <laughs> felt like crap. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I was, I, 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 I played okay. I can visualize Pat oh, just like, I played okay, above but I looked, t- I felt so miserable that first game. I mean, Pat's just praying to the gods that yeah. it, it kind of rains on Sunday. I couldn't, and wait, it's for, a I couldn't wait for Joe. I saw, a, when I saw Joe sprinting over, he's like, and, uh, and some Peter's like, raise his hand. Joe, you come back like, tell no, get your ass in your head, G, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I put my I, get, I put my five points up from the spiking from the serving, yes, and I got my ass. I was taking a break. <laughs> it was, um, but so, but hot wings wise, how did you guys feel? I felt fine, but, yeah, I mean, I, but I also threw up yeah. after because I think I had too much dairy there. So he definitely did throw up like a little. I had, yeah, too, I had little, way too much dairy. Bitch. It was really the dairy thing. We're gonna have to ask Joe for the video footage, and we'll send yes, it to you, Franklin, get, yes. so you could see Pat Lynch. He looked like he was gonna die. Yeah. The, the bomb destroyed me. Yeah. What? No, what is, like everything destroyed you. Have, like you. really oh, hot wings. I didn't. Oh, the, you didn't look at the pot. <sighs> okay, guys. We'll take care of this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you might never see this man again. <laughs> we'll take care of this next week. But episode ninety-two. Was the hot I'm wing. trying to get you to review it. The, the was the hot ones, it. hot ones episode where Joe nicely. I actually saw what what the hot ones cost. One hundred fifty dollars for that thing. 
Wow, oh, that is wow. ridiculous for how shitty those sauces tasted. So we, we got the hot <laughs> ones. Have you ever seen the hot ones no. on YouTube? You, no. Good Lord. Where oh, you yeah, 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 yeah. With okay. the, yeah. Yeah, with the guy yes, and the guy yes, and the yes, thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so we did it last week. Okay. That man must not have a stomach anymore, for the record. Um, what's up? That man must not have a stomach of any kind. Like his intestines, oh, and like yeah, lining are all gonna be just, just shit. Oh, he, yeah, his that rest of that day's got to be shot. He's got to pick a day like a Tuesday, knowing that he's never gonna do anything the rest no. of the day. Yeah, it's awful. Just take absolute a ton of just antacids. All yes. Day. <laughs> so <laughs> that a better better choice than the amount of dairy I had. I think. Yeah, probably. Respect. But. Yeah, we did offer you Pepto before. Uh, you were right. You were yeah. right. It was a good call. Look, but, Pat, you were also a good call. Like, it does things to you that, you know, it takes a, lo- a little bit longer on time for things yeah. to... You, to could, you, could, you could throw up like I do. Or you yeah, could, you're just going to have to wait a while. the other day. <laughs> um, but so so we did the, the Hot Ones uh, Season 17. Okay. They were the f- they were all not bad. I, I don't know if you've ever watched recently, but they're always the one that by kills not, everybody. By not bad, he means, like, they weren't that hot, but, like, they all so taste here, like I can, I can recap it for you. One, two, three... Not not terrible. I'll throw me a flavor. Like what? What? Did okay, they so call number it? two was number two was garlicky, just straight garlic. Shit. Yeah. Um. N- number one was supposed to be like a Tabasco, like a you know. Yeah. And it, it just number didn't taste eight good. was battery acid. I'm pretty sure. But none of them taste good. Like that's the issue. Like we only, maybe there was only one, and it was like the chocolate like ghost one. I thought was maybe okay because it was a little bit sweeter. But none of these you would want to have yeah. to eat. Like you wouldn't. Yeah. So, but number eight. So we're flying pretty good. Chris is doing great, tremendous. Pat's after about five dead. Joe, great, right? You can literally tell when Joe in the Joe. podcast. You can tell when Joe flips the switch and is like, "I want." I, he call, he's texting his <laughs> girlfriend, "Come get me! I want out of here! I'm going to kill somebody." Um, flip the switch on, and and it all started. Me four number four caught me like a punch to the face. Like I was yeah. like, "Whoa, whoa, where did?" Okay, now we're going somewhere. Yeah, five and six weren't bad. Seven was seven was another one I re- recapped. It was like, "Whoo, good lord!" And I was like going seven to eight. Eight's the bomb. If you watch any of the hot ones. Everybody changes from like, oh, we're having a good time. Oh, those questions are great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, you're like, and they're like crying. Eight just yeah. like, no, nose are just. Yeah. Pat's blowing his nose every two yeah. seconds, it but if bad. he's not chewing straight onto the mic, yeah. Joe is going <laughs> <sighs> the whole time. Just blowing in. Oh, it was so it like. There's a clip on Instagram right now. You can see it. That's like the last part before it just goes off the wires. It's just everybody's dying. And then eight and nine weren't bad. I actually redid nine because I felt like I didn't get enough. Yeah. But I you yeah. nine and ten, but yeah. Uh, what's up? You meant nine and ten. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah, it's nobody 10. nobody yes. was crazy enough to do eight over again. No, 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 no. But okay, so does anybody want to do it again? Is that I kind of I kind of like the rush of no, like I have no need to do it again. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean if the flavors if they tasted they hit, better, but yeah, no, they yeah, better taste. That was the only thing when I went to bed. So I, I I slept in bed by myself and I kept like I kept my stomach was killing me that night and I kept thinking it wasn't really it was just the taste. Yeah. I just kept thinking about how bad they tasted. Then that's like, what's the point? If okay, a hot, delicious, yeah, everyone likes. Oh I mean, yeah, that's, that's like, like a little food. sriracha. Yeah. Oh yeah. baby, a little but sriracha like, mayo. Come on, a get hot on. Tastes like ass. What? Yeah. What's the point? What are no, we doing? But the bomb. <laughs> that's the thing we kept talking. Me yeah. and Chris all week were like, yeah. What do you put the bomb on? You it don't put it on anything. That is miserable. It is just that reaction. Awful. It's just yes. the reaction. It's like, like that why? chip, like that ghost pepper chip. Yeah. Yeah. It's just miserable. It's a waste. Um. But it was I, I think it was one of our best podcasts. It was very fun. We did ten questions that we could we could shoot to Franklin here real quick if you wanted to just we'll give you we'll give you one or two. Or actually I don't have them on I do remember one. What is your great what do you think your greatest athletic accomplishment was? Like, what do you feel your greatest accompli- athletic accomplishment as you're eating a hot wing thing? Like, Finish dying. finishing uh, eighth in uh yeah, was, at the Big Ten yeah. Championship. Big All American. In, in high school. In high school? Yeah. So oh. I was pretty good. In he's actually. Athletic. Yeah, he, I was going to say, that's, that's an easy question. Frankie, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not saying it's an easy. I, it was easy for me. Did you, don't, yeah. did you, don't you own some? Congratulations. Did you own any St. Pat's records at this point? Well, I did. I mean, not, I don't know about any more of it. Congratulations, son. You're an all American. How do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> I got to pee. I got to not, pee. Yeah. Uh, but no, my, mine was an unassisted triple play that ended a softball game. It feels great. good. Yeah. It feels great. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's not all time, too all time, but it's unassisted. I don't know how many people in this world have an unassisted. So triple. I guess if be more specific, you're right. It was. Uh, I mean, Peter's love how the kid ran the wrong way in bases, but that's cool. When I was uh, no, both 17, of them had no idea what they were doing. Yep. <laughs> when I was 17 or 18, I got fourth, and the 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 one moment in my my brain that always goes, it was in, in decathlon. You the last thing you run is a 1500, and you're just spent because if nobody knows what decathlon is, it's two days um, of 10 events and track events, and so the last event, which is just pure torture is a 1500 meter run, which is yeah, basically Deca a mile. means 10. Yes. Yes. That's the 10th event. Yeah. So, so smart. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're not supposed to be on this podcast. That's so obviously smart. your, your oh, body oh, shot. We got something going on over there. We're about to get knocked off the. Yeah, we are. There you are. 
Your body's Bingo. shot, but uh, there was one time when I was like, so it was uh, I was in Baltimore, and it was like the so it's basically three and three fourths lap, and the last lap I just like was like okay, I was feeling good, and I just like took off. I just absolutely put everyone in the dust, and that was probably like the greatest athletic moment of my life of like finishing the decathlon like that, like that strong was really really cool and fun. So you ever uh, throw the shot put? Yes, I have. I can teach you how to throw. Shot how about the javelin? Like. Yes. I have to throw boomerangs as well. Nice. So, so on the next podcast. Do you play the ding jury do? I don't know. That <laughs> That's the <laughs> Australian one. Yeah. On the next podcast, Pat, we're going to have to get you to shift so your face is always in. Because I'm watching you and you. Um, there, people are just going to see the back, back of that ugly head. ass head. Yeah. It's okay. At least you got hair. If it was Chris, it would be a nice shiny bald head. A lot of glare coming yeah, off that dome. Be reflection. He in his breath. Uh, wait, that's, from, that's from. Uh, if you ever, uh, <laughs> that's aggressive. Have you ever seen? Uh, right, I guess we could turn the table this way too. Have you What's ever? Seen, we could turn the table. This way. Have yeah, you ever we're seen? Gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna work on it, ladies and gentlemen. We're working. This is your. Hey, listen. If you're joining the podcast, you're you're getting to see how podcast. Really you get a starts. lovely view of my storage area in my yeah, basement. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna make this beautiful. Into something. You need a little like uh, yeah. A little flag. file or something. Yeah, some flags or something. Well, I, I thought the camera was going that way. I thought the camera was going that way. Oh, Dave Matthews posters. Yeah, 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 like a little, little tropical yeah, vibe. Yeah, like Aruba. Oh, a few like, Dave Matthews hello. posters hello. back there. Hey. What's up, Bubba? A few Dave Matthews posters back there. Got plenty of spare. You know yeah, what's killing know. me, though? It, it's a lot more work to... I'll have to figure that out. That's like my only fear is like... Because we're doing this all on our own. That's That's the... You're gonna, I, I, you're gonna I, be spending a lot more time with I'm Peter. I'm so in good place. with learning. Um, I just I'm learning how to do the Instagram really well. Twitter podcast. This sounds so old, but listen, this is everybody's gonna. I'm on the guy. line, guys. I'm on the oh, line. He's killing me. <laughs> I, well, um, so again, I, we talked about this last week, or was it last? Maybe two weeks. No, it hadn't been last week when we got the. We went to the brewery. Or no, it was. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think now. You when went to the brewery we last brewery? weekend, yes. Yeah, but did we do? We didn't talk about that on the podcast. No, we? because yeah, oh, we're talking here. So. We went to uh, Laura, in Aurora. Um, we went yeah, to that, that Naperville. Yes. Salmoth. Yeah, sorry, Naperville. Yeah. And um, I wish I could have joined. I, could, that I almost so did. Awesome. I was at a. I know I, it was my fault. I didn't, Chris yeah. was like, well, "You should have invited Frank." And I'm like, I I, "I've been there a bunch. It's great. Yeah. It's an awesome place." Dude, the beer, yeah. there's Saison. It's awesome. Saison yeah. is amazing. I love going there. I, I haven't been in a bit, but um, we actually there's a, there used to be a, a cidery that was right next to it, and they, they ended up moving. It was called Two Fools. I Very think good too. Oh, they're not there anymore. Huh? They're not there. They moved to another location, bigger, and now it's, they have a more outdoor seating. But Salamoth has been there forever. So good. Great. Yeah. So her cousin started a barbecue um, food truck and catering business. And they were they just parked out there and, yeah. they were, and we're just chilling. They do that all the and, time. It's great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you you know what's crazy is you just call them and be like, hey, can I do this? And they're like, yeah, yeah come on in. Did you would you ask if we could do the SMB podcast live there? We could definitely probably. Uh, no, I wouldn't see why. Well, maybe one day. You never know. What if we did? I mean, it's we're, a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> they'd be like, nah, we're good. No, no, they don't have to do anything. We bring the stage. We just sit yeah, out there yeah. and we have. A, As we drive business way, they're like, now nah, we're good. <laughs> 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 exactly. Oh come on! I mean, nobody the, wants to listen. To you. <laughs> no, l- listen. Nobody wants to listen to us now. N- damn sure don't want to listen to us live. We got live entertainment today, guys. Oh man, this is crap. We're out here. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, yeah, it would be a little weird. But you know, you know, you know, it's yeah. the best thing is, um, like Joe Rogan, not um, Andrew Schultz, uh, King and the Sting. These are some of the podcasts I listen to, and they talk about how different and uncomfortable a live podcast is. You don't want to sure. like those, yeah. these type of situations like those. You need like an interactive. Well, I think it depends on your podcast. Like some uh, some podcasts are built to be with like, you can interact with an audience. Yes, like with your, the movie, <clears throat> like the movie, yeah, movie one. Yeah. yeah, that was probably okay. But like if you're just like, like four to guys go listen to Joe Rogan basement, talking yeah. to somebody for two yes, hours, would be weird. That. weird He's never done that. Now, but like, I'm saying it would be, it'll be very weird. Though, I'm saying yes, but like Andrew Schultz podcast is four guys and then a guy and you you're bringing a guest and you're talking to them and they have like a like it's you're not going to get that intimate like. Nobody's listening to you, type of feel that like that's what with Joe Rogan's three hours is. Yeah. You get somebody in there, you lock them in, and yeah. uh, they're screwed. Now you got to sit in here, you got to talk yeah. to them. Yeah. yeah, we probably got to wrap this up soon. I'm guessing, right? We got some time. We got Pepsi's got the 820 that we're gonna go in and purchase him because he's gonna slip. So it he's up. in. Yeah, but he doesn't got any clubs with him, so he's gonna be. He's mine. Yeah. Nice. See, Chris, look at him. What do we? What, what's the time on there? What do we got? What do we got on there? You think it's got to be close to. Down. Chris, what are you thinking? Um, we are at 44 minutes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, That's not bad. terrible. No, we need a little bit of a shorter. Is there, are there, are there yay or nays or something to end on here? Yeah, let's 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 do some um, feel good no uh, feel good vibes. How was your guys' weeks? Anybody got anything fun from the week that they 
Besides, Pat, you went to a Cubs Wednesday, a game Wednesday. And I went on a boat ride, but other than that, it was really just uh, pretty brutal at work. Did you guys have any anything in the in the current like current news? Current I learned how the locks work in the in the river between the river and the lake was kind of cool. Oh yeah, you did a. Did you not do the tour today? <laughs> no, not today because the rain. I got canceled it. Oh, uh, um, did you? Were you able to get your money back? I was, yeah. Um, nice. James I saw, Webb's I saw telescope stuff. Science, yes, that's science. okay. That's dude. That was science. Well, I mean, but this is so cool though. Yeah, that was those pictures are amazing. And I know some people is like. You know, the average person you look at it, it's like it's not that big of a deal, but you're looking back 13 billion years. That's, that's insane wild. to think about. Like they think they can think see about that. those pictures. They think they they know. The, it's not think. No, those are 13 billion year old galaxies. So those probably aren't even around anymore. But that's the craziness of that of our galaxy. That's just so insane. Of our they, universe. No, but say. they can see. They think they can see the, the the Big Bang. Like they they're hoping to be able to see the Big In Bang. In a sense, yeah. But like, what does that even mean? That, okay, they, good. Yeah. All right, I'm not yeah. the biggest. I'm no, 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 just no, no. Like, yeah, how's yeah. that? My so brain is too think small. about it this way: the, you're not going to be able to see the Big Bang in a sense. I mean, you might in a, in some ways in the future, but through that telescope, no. But what they want to see is the, basically the earliest galaxies that came out, the first galaxies that possibly might yeah. be able to see it. So, like, imagine the first galaxies that popped up, whatever it was, you know. But um, but Frank, when did God create these ones? <laughs> five, <laughs> three, five. Oh boy! Oh, don't get him yeah. started. <laughs> Feel good. Uh, that, that's for the OnlyFans podcast. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, that's just, I mean, check oh, out the pictures that things. NASA's got them all on. It's super cool. That's all. That's that's pretty cool to me. I saw this one. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, Paul Rudd. America's for, favorite. Or, the, no, the, the sexiest the man in, in, with the kid in, thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great story. This is a great story. Yeah. You need, we do. I love these feel good stories. Um, Paul Rudd. Um, unfortunately, I hope the, the my only, I'm so, I'm so cynical because I feel like it gets, it could, one way or the other, but a, a kid did not get his yearbook signed by anybody. Kids are mean. Yeah, I hope that's not. I hope really hope that's not true. But this kid it probably was. Unfortunately, did not get anybody to sign his yearbook. I don't, bring, I don't even ask anybody to sign mine. Was that I don't like think I did either. But yeah, we did, I did it when I was. I, was saying, I don't remember. Okay, I don't remember. I don't remember. Grade. Like I don't remember it being yeah. like a big deal that like you yeah, had to get did. like. Signatures. I remember. Like we we got everyone. I remember seventh eighth grade. We asked everyone. Oh yeah, seventh eighth grade. Yeah. yeah. This kid was he was small. It was seventh yeah, eighth, not okay. high school. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking I was high, thinking high, high school. school. High school, yeah. but like seventh eighth grade. Yeah, okay, that, got, yeah, that you remember yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so Paul Rod said the saw this and um, sent the kid got on on a call with the kid, and then sent him an Ant Man helmet. And befriended him. And was he just, a fan of Ant Man? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, even if he was, I was asking like if he was, yeah. was he a big guy? Like how yeah. Paul Rudd was. They, all they the wrote something mean in the kids' yearbook too. It was like <clears throat> try harder next year or something. It was like really wow, not cool. People. Not cool. Not, I mean, kids it's kids are but, mean. But, but, kids, are the kids gonna be smart one day and like just like find them and just tear them apart. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. They, if you <clears throat> hey, if any kids are listening to this podcast and you're in high school and you're the sh- and you're the shit. Think about this. You don't peak in high school. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to peak in high school. Yeah, don't be the Pat Lynch. Of, of, yeah, you don't want to peak in high school. I did not peak in high school. It, it doesn't matter you still really where peaked. you peak. Just don't talk about I'm, it. I'm for still your in the. I'm life. still in the ascent. That's Go true. beyond peaking. Like you well, can but, peak in high school, but like have some more future goals. Other than I mean, I talking peaked about your high school glory. Maybe the father in the father in the room. Tell them, baby. I peaked in kindergarten. So Chris, Chris peaked when Chris peaked when he took that driver's lesson photo where his hair was outside of the picture, and that was his high point of his Listen, life. Listen, I peaked at age twenty, but I'm not talking about age twenty all the time. But <laughs> I said, think you that's all we hear about from yeah. Frank when we see him is ah, Man, when, when I was, I was 20. twenty. It's great. We're gonna hear about his decathlon all night. No. <laughs> that was eighteen, so a little before then. <laughs> all right, ladies, I'm really hoping this is gonna be the first live po- podcast on the YouTubies with video. Patrick, quit Patrick, shaking get your head. ass in here. Come on here, come on, you big nose freak. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here again on a beautiful Saturday night pregame. Check out Samuel Adams. The uh, I don't know if, how many are left of the summer because they do the summers in April it's packets, good. but it's good. They got some really good beers in here. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy the porch rocker. Uh, so have a great week. Enjoy yourselves. Get a beer. Uh, Chris, you got anything for me? Bye.